What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Dirt Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have the October 2021 Albuquerque Sunport International Airport Update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. What a milestone it is to get back to monthly updates after mono. It has been such a long time since we've had an update for just one month and it feels so, so good to be back at Albuquerque International Airport. Super, super glad to be here today, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. We have a jam-packed update for Albuquerque today. We have some new aircraft a new route that'll be starting some really good cargo movements some ga we have it all on today's airport update thank you guys for coming by sunport is looking awesome and i'm so excited to do this update with all that being said let's start october everybody let's get into it all righty here we go everybody we'll start over here with the bravo concourse as per usual it just feels like tradition you know first friday in the month have to start at the bravo concourse i love these traditions and i have a hard time breaking them maybe we'll start on the other side sometime but for now i like the bravo concourse beginning with bravo before we have this american eagle Number Ear Day 175 operate on the behalf of SkyWest Airlines, just like I said in the Reno update. Uh, SkyWest 175s have made their way into fruition and they've made it over to the Sunport, which has been very exciting. Very regularly, too. Uh, about 30, or yeah, pardon me, about two thirds of the flights have been on the 175, which is really cool. They get upgraded the day of, which is a pretty unique technique uh, for the moment. But, anyways, this guy's currently coming in from Los Angeles, as we would expect, and he'll be heading back out there. Really nice to have the 175 back at this gate. It was at this gate when Compass was here for years. It's been a really long time. I really enjoyed the change of pace. Really glad to see it. I uh, will be sure to rotate the 700 and the 175 on this route as the 700 still comes in about once a day usually but it's been really exciting to see the variation and a super exciting and big milestone for SkyWest American to get these 175s. So well done to SkyWest. Really excited for the future and this guy will be making a turn back out to Los Angeles. Next in line currently pushing back we have this Frontier Airbus A320neo. This is Georgia the Painted Bunny. This guy's currently pushing back with the non-stop service out to Denver, Colorado today. Really hope that Frontier may consider expanding out of Albuquerque. It's just been the Denver service, but it is three to four times weekly, which is really nice. Frontier doing their thing, and I'm very glad to see this progression here for uh, Frontier at Albuquerque. So very nice to see heading out to Denver, like we said. Next up, we have this Delta Connection Ember ERJ 170 filling in for SkyWest Ember ERJ 175. This guy's currently making a flight in from Los Angeles International Airport, and we'll be heading back out there on turnaround. Thought I would flip the gates for Salt Lake City and LAX to kind of change it up a little bit. I did get a chance to look at American Delta and United Load since those are the main ones with the seat maps. They are all doing really, really well, especially Delta. They are filling up their 170, 175 flights and the A321s to Atlanta like nobody's business. Uh, two, Yes, I believe two of the Los Angeles flights were sold out from Monday when I was recording this, the Monday prior, September 27th. So really awesome to see Delta doing this, and especially with their prices. It's really impressive to me that they are uh, finding ways to fill these aircraft, even with everything going on. So uh, a lot of people think that the pandemic's over. I will stay neutral on that subject, uh, outside the fact that I do not believe it is and people are continuing to fly so i guess for the aviation industry in a way it's uh, good news that uh, things are continuing to move regardless and they're doing their thing so like i said delta ember eater j-170 filling in for skywest 175 non-stop turn back out to lax next up we have this delta airlines airbus a321 this guy's currently making a flight in from atlanta hartsville jackson or citrus aviations airport and we'll be heading back out there super excited to get the subscriber routes back in the airport updates if you'd like a subscriber route to any of my airports there's a link in the description to the google form for it and you can fill it out and then you can have a subscriber as long as you follow all the necessary criteria there wasn't any for albuquerque unfortunately during the intermission but obviously i didn't get a chance to uh mention it that much so uh, that was to be expected but if you'd like to have a subscriber out to albuquerque on any realistic route be sure to go to that google form and also local fan pictures if you have any uh pictures of aircraft or video even or anything like that uh, there's a Google form for that in the description as well. So be sure to check those out. Lots of great stuff in the description. I put it down there for you guys. So feel free to check that stuff out. A lot of good stuff. But A321 is looking awesome. I can't believe that NG made this model already a year ago. Absolutely crazy. And yeah, uh, Atlanta loads, like I said, have been phenomenal. Uh, it's been like 95% full the day before, which is just outstanding. And I really love to see this. Three times daily too. That's pre-pandemic numbers. Love to see it. Delta A321 nonstop service back out to Atlanta. Next up, we have this Delta connection number earj-170 filling in for another skywest number earj-175 this guy currently has non-stop service out to salt lake city today salt lake city also performing also performing pardon me very well on three daily ember earj-175s 
it blows my mind that this is the same frequency that Tulsa has for Delta um, to Salt Lake City. I, I still can't believe that, but that's where we're at. I think this route's deserving of mainline. It feels like nobody's business. I seriously think the 319 needs to return, or who knows, maybe even an A220. Unfortunately, the Minneapolis service that was here in the last update has uh, not been present, which is unfortunate, but hey, it was nice to have it for a little bit. So hopefully it returns soon, but it was really cool to have that while it lasted. But anyways, Delta doing their thing. Super excited for what's to come, and they'll keep up the great work. Let's proceed on. Next in the line, we have this Alaska operated by Horizon Embry Ear J-175. This guy is currently making non-stop service back out to Portland International Airport. Uh, really glad to see Portland doing its thing. A really cool route out of Albuquerque, in my opinion. You don't see a ton of these cities like Albuquerque have a service like this, at least this far down in the United States to Portland for Alaska. So that's a really, really cool service. In terms of the RJ, I should add, a city the size of Albuquerque. Like you got Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, list goes on. But in terms of uh, 175 service and things like this, not the most present. So really, really cool. Uh, I'm excited to see what Alaska continues to do. So excited to get the new models. And I'll talk about that a little bit more as we get to the American Airlines section. But uh, anyways, we'll proceed on to B5. Next up, we have this JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in the Scribes Tail, one of my favorite models. This guy's currently loading up with nonstop service back out to New York, John Kennedy. Apologies about the camera. I think the route's doing pretty well. I should have got a chance to check the seat map, so I apologize about that. But uh, JFK is a great airport. They uh, recently had UN Week, which was really, really cool. A lot of awesome aircraft were able to make their way back uh, since there was no UN Week last year, at least uh, in person. But uh, yeah, JetBlue doing their thing. Hopefully the route's doing pretty well. Hopefully better than 25%. I would think that it probably is. Hopefully closer to 75 at least, but who knows. Anyways, like I said, non-stop service out the New York John F. Kennedy. Next up, we have a really good looking American Airlines section. Beginning over here, this is gate B, I think three, if I'm not mistaken. We have this American Airlines Airbus A319. This is the older US Airways Piedmont Heritage model. Uh, really excited for the Aero Classics ones. Uh, I'll talk about new models for just a moment. Uh, the American CRG 900 is not in this update because I wanted the wait to get all my new models and just start debuting them in all the new airports. So hopefully for the November updates and late October updates, they will be ready to go. Very, very exciting about that. And I'm really excited to finally get these new models rolling. Absolutely crazy. It's really crazy to feel like that November is already here. I seriously can't believe that. Uh, but really excited for these new models. And I just wanted to give some runs for some of these, uh, the final times for models like this one. This guy's currently making a flight in from Phoenix Sky Harbor and we'll be heading back out there. Three daily sky was 700s and a 8 through 19. So we're looking very, very nice right there. As we move over to gate B1, we have one of my favorite models in my collection. It's the American Airlines Boeing 737-800. This guy's in the one world paint scheme. I know the mold's not the most um, ideal, but they really did a good job on the livery and it looks really nice. Uh, the livery a lot of times can make up for poor molds in my opinion. And this is a prime example most certainly. But anyways, this guy's currently loading up with the nonstop service back out to Dallas for Worth International Airport. I don't know where this happened from. I guess I should have paid more attention, but they just pushed out the main line like nobody's business. I think it's like five daily 737-800s and a 319. That is ridiculous comparing to, uh, I think in August we had like maybe two 737s or something crazy like that. I know for sure in like May it was much more limited. So it's really, really cool. I'm uh, very glad to see the 737s banking again. Even pre-pandemic, I don't think it was this many. So... That is phenomenal to see that. Uh, really, really nice stuff. And Albuquerque is a deserving 737 city. I mean, we're talking about uh, on the better side of close to a thousand seats per day uh, inbound by itself. So, and they're filling them. I looked at the loads. It, they were better than Tulsa's loads. And uh, for somebody that stocked Tulsa, that's saying a lot. So that's a really uh, encouraging sign. Phoenix was also very full, not quite as well. And Los Angeles was also pretty good as well. So, but Dallas was a standout for sure. And as we pan up to gate, I believe believe that is uh, B1. We have the American Eagle Embraer Ear J-175. This guy's going to be operating for Republic Airways today. He's currently making a flight in from Chicago O'Hare and will be heading back out there. Uh, really cool to see that uh, American is operating two daily Chicago flights, one on Republic and one on Envoy. That's a really cool uh, duo pair. Some cities in the Midwest, especially like Cincinnati and Indianapolis have stuff like that. Not quite to the level of uh, Albuquerque, for example, or airports like Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Colorado Springs, uh, etc, etc, etc. 
So that was a really cool finding, uh, but I thought Republic would be the best way to go today uh, since we've done it so many times with Envoy. So really nice to see the 175 doing its thing. Um, looking really nice in the American Airlines lineup, looking really, really good. We will proceed on into the Alpha Concourse. And welcome back United Mainline to the Sunport. Super glad to have United Mainline back. Right here we have United Airlines Airbus A319 in the Evo Blue colors. The baby bus looks awesome. Great model by Gemini Jets from February of 2020. This guy's currently loading up with non-stop service back out to Denver, Colorado today. Uh, Denver has seen the main line back. I think it's only three daily flights. Uh, Sierra, or no, I think it's two commuter 145s and an A319. Uh, super glad to see that the main line is back regardless though, and United doing their thing. Probably quite a bit of competition from Frontier and Southwest, so they're holding their own and they're doing their thing, which is great to see. So United doing their thing. We'll talk more about them when we get to the other side of the concourse, but looking really, really good. Proceeding through the Alpha Concourse right here, we have an Allegiant Air Airbus E319. This guy's currently making a flight in from Austin, Texas, and we'll be heading back out there. Really glad to see Allegiant doing their thing, holding their own here at Albuquerque. And even though their presence is limited, they are still making it happen, so looking very nice. Proceeding to gate Alpha 9, right here we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the California 1 paint scheme. Uh, it has a little bit of a reflection. I'm sorry that it's a little bit grainy in terms of the... Uh, the uh, uh, lighting in here, I apologize, but still looks great in any lighting condition. This guy's currently making a flight in from, um, there's a lot of Southwest destinations, but uh, really, really good news. I jinxed it, in, I didn't jinx it, but I mentioned in the last update, I was like, I was so hopeful for something new, something, something. And Southwest decided to add one new route as a brand new route to start next January. Bird Bank, California will begin on January 17th, 2022. Super excited for finally a new announcement. I can't remember the last new route that we had. Uh, uh, I, I, can't, I can't, like the only thing that comes to my mind is Allegiance Orlando Sanford, and that was back in the summer of 20. Everything else has been consistent, <laughs> to say the least. But finally a new route, really, really exciting. Uh, obviously they have a ton of frequency to Los Angeles, but Burbank's a nice little suburb, and if you want to get to right there in the middle of uh, Los Angeles uh, in that area, that's a great route to be able to take. So very exciting right there. Outside of that, everything's going consistent, and it's been really, really nice. But like I said, this California one, we'll keep him in California. We'll say that he's coming in from uh, Los Angeles, and we'll send him all over to Dallas Love Field. And then over there, get Alpha 11, we have a really interesting flight. It's been a while since I've got to encompass some charter stuff, and I'm really glad that we're getting back to charter stuff. But we have a South Eastern Line 737 that 700. This guy in the heart livery with bended winglets. This guy's currently uh, deplaning after coming in from El Paso, Texas. This is actually carrying the University of New Mexico's football team. Uh, New Mexico University is actually based in Albuquerque, so I thought I would do some charters with them because obviously, um, why don't we encompass all the charters that we can? But anyways, like I said, this guy's currently making a flight in from El Paso. They played UTEP, University of uh, El Paso, and they unfortunately lost 20 to 13, but still a good effort. I believe they're uh, two and two New Mexico is I think but really cool to see uh, Southwest Charter I thought that was pretty neat usually it would have been a Sun Country or something for a city or a university like New Mexico but Southwest probably with a ton of flights in the area probably decided to make it happen I'm not sure where he head out head went out to after that off the top of my head so we'll just send him out to Oakland but glad to see Southwest chartering uh, University of New Mexico's football team looking really good alrighty proceeding through over here to the latter half of the Alpha Concourse over there in the back gate I believe that's Alpha 10 we have that Southwest Airlines 737 Max 8 there's been a ton of Southwest Maxes through Albuquerque. We'll say this guy's coming in from Denver. We'll be heading out to Houston Hobby. Uh, like I said, I got the second release Max, and then Gemini Jets just announced their third Southwest 737 Max in 1 to 400. So obviously, I'm getting one of those. So we'll have three Maxes to rotate from, which will be very, very fun. Uh, so the Southwest collection continues to build. Just been crazy, uh, especially considering where we were even just two years ago. But I'm not complaining whatsoever. Speaking of which, uh, for retrospective, Four of the six Southwest models in this update are less than a year old. That's crazy. <laughs> As one actually is a little bit older than that, but still, that just speaks numbers in my opinion. Next up, we get Alpha 8. We have the Southwest Airlines 737-800 with the bended, or sorry, the split scimitars in the Canyon Blue livery. Still one of my favorite Southwest uh, uh, models. Uh, NG models did awesome on this. This guy's currently making a flight in from San Diego, California. And we'll be heading out to Austin, Texas. Absolutely love that livery, man. Um, such a good one. Um, the desert livery was good and the heart livery is really good, but 
that Canyon Blue livery. And considering how many Canyon Blues are still around, it's just so awesome. And then proceeding over to Alpha 6, we have the South Carolina 737-700 with the uh, Heart livery with split scimitars. This guy's coming in from Baltimore. I saw the flight last night literally fly right over my house during sunset. It was so cool. I clicked on it and it said it was going to Albuquerque and that was just awesome. It was a uh, Heart livery with splits just like this one. It was 952. Um, it was just such a cool moment. I love seeing those sunset contrails over my house, uh, over here in the Southern Plains, but nevertheless. And this guy's gonna be making a flight out to Phoenix Sky Harbor today. So Southwest really kicking it over here. The loads I bet are phenomenal. I wish I could see them, but they obviously have their uh, unique boarding process to say, or sorry, unique seating process would be a better word to say the least. But hey, that is perfectly good. And that's what makes Southwest unique. That's why everybody loves them with the uh, L-U-V. So anyways, looking good. Uh, we got some more United, so let's take a look. Alrighty, first in line over here at A4, we have the United Express Ember ERJ-175 operated on behalf of uh, Mesa and SkyWest for this one. This guy's currently making a flight in from, uh, I'm sorry, Mesa and uh, Republic. This guy's coming in from Houston Intercontinental. He'll be heading out to Chicago here, respectively Mesa on the inbound and Republic on the outbound. Those flights are doing really well. No mainline yet, but I haven't got a chance to check the schedule, so hopefully we'll see mainline for Houston. Chicago still one daily, so looking good. And over here at A2, we have the United Express Bombardier Nace here today, 200 operating on behalf of SkyWest Airlines in the Evo Blue colors. Great model, really, really like it. This guy's currently making a flight in from San Francisco, it will be heading back out there. No 175, currently CRJ 200, so that's a tough flight. It's probably about two hours or so. So, United doing their thing. Uh, they've actually been using A4 quite a bit, so I decided to put two of them over here rather than the two on the other side. And I thought it would look nice, so looking really good over here. Very, very nice. And we'll take it over to our uh, kind of uh, DIY Concourse C. And over here at our fictional Concourse C, I'm sorry this is not the perfect setup, but we're kind of in space restraints over here in the corner of my bedroom. Right here we have the uh, Boutique PC-12. They continue to do their thing to Carlsbad, New Mexico. Love the EAS routes that we have, and it uh, puts a very unique twist. I really hope that I can get a custom with the blue and black livery. I love that one so much, but this is definitely a very, very good model regardless. Very good custom, I should add. So, anyways, Carlsbad, New Mexico, as per usual, looking great and glad to have Boutique in here. Alrighty, first and foremost right here, we have this UPS Boeing 757-200 uh, to start off the cargo section. This guy's currently coming in from El Paso, Texas, and we'll be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth. Super, super excited for the A300s. They have arrived, and I'm super excited to unbox them. They are going to be great ads for the collection. Very exciting, this UPS 757 doing its thing. And next in line over here, we have our two 767s. We have the UPS Boeing 767-300 freighter. This guy's currently loading up nonstop service out to Louisville, Kentucky today. And on the right side, we have the FedEx Express uh, 767-300. This guy's currently making a nonstop service for us out to uh, Memphis, Tennessee today. Like I said, those A300s are going to be assets. They're finally here. Super, super excited for them. Thank you, Aero Classics. Really, really excited for those. Next up, we have this Cessna 172. This guy's currently waiting for a paint job, and then he's going to be heading out to uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico today. Short hop, but he's going to be hanging out, so looking very nice right there. Taxing out for departure right here is the South Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Canyon Blue paint scheme. Very excited for the NG Models versions uh, to unbox those. Those are going to be absolutely awesome. This guy's currently making a flight in from, uh, let's go with Austin, Texas, and he's going to be heading out to... Uh, what was one destination I didn't get? Uh, San Jose, California. That would be perfect. And our last model for this airport update right here, we have the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER. This is the uh, all-white chest delivery that probably is only with splits. Well, obviously, only had, there's only um, this delivery with splits now, and probably not very many of them left, unfortunately. This guy's currently making a non-stop service in from Seattle and we'll be heading back out there. Currently, one daily 737-900. Uh, really, really nice flight, and this model is one of my favorites. Um, looking at it, you know, I kind of get this feeling sometimes when I look at some of these models I'm like holy crap that's actually what it is you know you know you always can look at a model and just be like that's what it is but then you really look at like the livery the mold what year it came out and everything it's like wow <laughs> it kind of just shakes your mind when you get so many models so uh, just had one of those models moments for this model it's a really really cool one uh, great mold great livery and just screams classic Gemini jets I know it's only 2014 but I mean still that's almost that's working on 10 years ago, which just is crazy to think about. I got this model about eight years ago to the day. Um, yeah, eight, no, I'm sorry, seven years ago to the day, that's right. And 
It's been one of my favorites to say the least. Um, it's a great model. And that is the perfect way to end this Albuquerque International Airport update. And I also want to add one more tidbit before I ramble for a moment. Um, I'm so excited for the NG1s. Those are going to rule the next couple updates when those get unboxed. Um, UNCF, One World, and the normal livery. And these, uh, the three specials that I've had in here, normal, or sorry, the all white, the uh, Mortal Love, and the 100 Year Strong Boeing, they have served their purpose. They will be back at some point, but they're going to uh, be out for just a little bit because they've been, I wouldn't say overused, but we are ready for that rotation. So thank you guys so much for watching this Albuquerque International Airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a lot of great things going on over here at Albuquerque between the new Burbank route. The Skywest 175 for American was awesome. Uh, we got that main line going for United a little bit. Delta, American, United filling their planes like nobody's business. And things just continue to evolve, uh, which is really, really cool. Really excited to see where Albuquerque goes from here. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit more action picking up in terms of maybe a little bit more rotation for the aircraft and also some more new flight. That would be very exciting. Really excited for that. Uh, hopefully the channel update came out yesterday, but th since things have been so inconsistent, I don't know if it did, but hopefully it did. Um, but regardless, at some point, whether it's out already or not, there'll be a big time channel update coming down until everything for the fall of 2021. Really excited for what's to come this fall. We have a lot of awesome stuff. Um, hopefully consistency, that's the number one goal, but uh, real life content returning. We got all the airport updates. Hopefully we'll be back in full swing. Unboxing videos, tier list videos, um, spotting vlogs, hopefully, uh, one-offs. I mean, everything in between, live streams. It's gonna be excellent giveaways. <laughs> there, There is everything that one would want. And I'm super, super excited to hopefully be back consistently. This mono recovery has been really slow, but luckily the progress has been, um, I wouldn't say crazy substantial, but enough to where I'm, I'm, I'm able to get back going in terms of making stuff. And there's been moments where it's been hard. There's been moments where I've had to sit down and just breathe for a little bit, but there's also been moments like this one right here where I've filmed for 35 minutes straight and have not had an issue, which I'm just super thankful for. And really grateful that you guys as an audience has been so um, supportive. Thank you guys so much for 3,500 subscribers. That is a real accomplishment for me. And considering this is a um, primarily a model airplane uh, channel, I feel super blessed, accomplished, um, satisfied. And really, I'm just thankful to share my passion with you guys on a regular basis. I know that I say that often, but I seriously mean it every single time. Without my passion for aviation, I don't know where I would be today. Um, and having this passion has just been something that I've been so grateful for. Um, it's so unique. It's so satisfying. It's so fascinating, and it's just it's just unbelievable to me. You know, between whether it's a model airplane or going to spot aircraft in real life or uh, simulating something on a flight simulator, it's amazing, and I am so thankful for it every single day. And I would not want to be in any other community. So I just want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart, and I am so excited to continue to share my passion with you guys, and I'm so excited to continue to interact with you guys on a regular basis. Please leave a comment and I'll be excited to uh, reply to everybody. It's my favorite, man. Albuquerque tradition every Friday. Um, we need to build more traditions, so if you have any tradition ideas, please let me know for this channel, and I would love to continue building them because they're fun, and it's what makes things unique, and I absolutely love it, so feel free to leave a comment if you have any ideas, and I would love to hear about it. But with all that being said, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process, do what you love, and love what you do. My name is Red Red Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Red Aviation is signing off. <music>